friends today i'm going to give you some spine chilling facts on astra mk1 before that let's see a small clipping on how astra was launched Astra MK1 is beyond visual range air to air missile developed by India. Indian Air Force have conducted 5 successful trials in September 2019. Indian Air Force used Jet Banshee a testing drone as target aircraft and Astra was fired from SU30. Let me inform you that Banshee jets are used from many years as target drone systems for testing. Defence Research and Development Laboratory has designed Astra missile and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has modified the aircraft for weapon integration 50 plus public and private industries have contributed in building the Astra missile let me tell you a very interesting fact about Astra project the Astra project started in 1990 but due to technical snags and design problems the project was delayed Astra was also showcased on Aero India show in 1998 This device was tested first time in May 2003. Since then it has been tested more than 25 times. Astra took 30 years in making. After successful tests, Indian Air Force has decided to conduct this missile systems. We have procured Meteor missile along with Rafale which functions the same as Astra missile. Meteor has two major advantages over Astra. The first one is the range of meteor is double than astra and the second is the speed of meteor can be altered midway now we will also check the advantage of astra over meteor and which is cost of developing astra mk1 is very less due to its indigenous developments compared to meteor missile now we will look into the main features of astra mk1 the first one is it is highly agile accurate and reliable missile and features high single shot kill probability and is capable of operating under all weather conditions length of weapon system is 3.8 meters while its diameter is 178 mm and an overall launch weight is 154 kg second is it has target range of 80 km and can travel at speed of mach 4 that is roughly 5000 km third Its radar is a key machine to make BVR missile successful. This missile is combination of multiple system. The maximum range of Astra is 110 km in the head-on chase and 20 km in tail chase. Now, you must be wondering what is head-on chase and tail-on chase. So let me clarify. When fighter plane is coming from the front direction, it is called head-on chase and when we are chasing enemy fighter plane, it is called tail chase astra missile could be launched from different altitudes and for every altitude the range varies for example it can cover 110 km when launched from an altitude of 15 km it can cover 44 km when launched from an altitude of 8 km and last it can cover 21 km when launched from a sea level altitude the higher the aircraft more the range as i started earlier astra is combination of multiple systems so we'll start with the first one astra has an advanced active seeker which has capacity to lock a target before or after launch yes it can lock a target after it is launched second main feature of this missile is its propulsion system this propulsion system does not emit smoke yes you heard it right the propulsion system does not em- emit smoke Due to this the enemy radars shall never know the location from where the missile was fired. Third point is its ECCM which stands for electronic counter countermeasures. This is used to protect the missile and makes missile resistance to jamming circuit. ECCM also helps missile in hitting the target accurately. Fourth point is in terms of maneuverability. Astra missile can withstand the force of 13g 
Yes, again you heard that right. It's 13G. Most of aircrafts or missile can withstand force from 9G to 11G, which means this missile can take faster turns, ups and downs at very high speed, which is highest ever developed in any missile. Fifth point, the missile has mid-course guidance and radio frequency seeker based terminal guidance to achieve target destruction with pinpoint accuracy. India is already working on producing Astra MK2 with range of 150 plus kilometers. I hope you like this information about Astra MK1 shared in this video. Do post your comment in the comment box and I shall reply you back with the answers or valuable inputs. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon given on the right bottom of the video.